Absolutely, and there's actually a press conference going on inside this building right now. It's the Asian Resources Building, and there are literally dozens of people from all different walks of life uh, within the Sacramento community. There are Jewish leaders, there are uh, Muslim leaders, black leaders, uh, Latino leaders, all coming together to stand in solidarity. And a big thing that they're talking about is one ongoing incidence of violence against Asian Americans. We know that uh, nearly 4,000 incidents have been reported just in the last year, according to one nonprofit um, that uh, looks particularly at Asian issues. But also speaking of the horrific incident in Georgia that has gotten the attention of the nation, eight people killed, the majority of them Asian women. And speaking specifically to that incident, now at this point, law enforcement not confirming whether or not that had a, a racial motivation. But to listen to the speakers today speak, they definitely saw a reason for concern. One of them was Osama Kamel. He's with the Council of American Islamic Relations. Here's what he had to say. Violence against Asian Americans has a long history in this country. The violent sexualization and fetishization of Asian women is part of the consciousness of white supremacy and the long history of imperialism. White supremacy isn't just about race, it's about gender, and it's about class. To eradicate white supremacy, we got to commit to showing up for one another during times of hardship and times of ease. We have to build without the pressure of reacting to catastrophes. So some emotional words there. Starting everything off and bringing everyone together today was Stephanie Nguyen, and she heads Asian Resources, again, the building that's hosting this. She says as the daughter of a refugee, she was taught to keep her head down and not speak up against injustice. Today that ends. Today I am pledging and I'm asking all of you to go back to your friends and your family to pledge to these three things. See something, say something, do something. Because unless we all come together, basically saying that we're not taking it lying down and that it's going to take the entire community, regardless of your background, to come together and put an end to this. Reporting live, I'm Karma Dickerson, Fox 40 News.